Hey, welcome again to Mombasa, Kenya. My name is Steve Johnson. We're in Uhuru Park in Mombasa, and I'm sharing some wisdom from the Beatitudes. We've heard before how the Beatitudes are not a series of rules, regulations that you must obey to get to heaven, but actually it's the seed of eternal life that's already planted in you. That nature, if you're born again, is already in you. You are that person, even if you don't look like it. Remember, the seed does not let yet look like the tree, but in essence, they're the same thing. So we want to look at verse 4. It said, Blessed are they who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Now, this is one of the most misunderstood verses in the entire Bible. Now, mourning, many of us are familiar with that. We've all lost loved ones. But this mourning is specifically over the effects of the fall and over sin. When we see sin in our lives, when we see something is contrary to the will of God, there is something now within us that grieves over it. And the Bible says when we are open to that, we allow ourselves to be open to that, we are comforted. Now, that's a misunderstood word as well. Let me understand. Let me give some understanding here as to what comforted means. It's unfortunately taken from the King James Version of the Bible, which was 400 years ago. Those words meant a little bit different to what they mean today. It doesn't mean making you comforted or going there, there, it'll be okay. Actually, um, you can get the, the idea from this from the Bayer Tapestry, uh, where the king is actually prodding one of his soldiers with a, a sword. And, he, and the, the slogan is, the king comforteth his troops. Actually, what he's doing, he's bringing the soldiers into life. And he's bringing correction. So that's actually what it is doing. It is the goading or the prompting or the conviction of the Holy Spirit. When you are open to mourning over your sin, when you're open to see sin for what it really is, the Holy Spirit brings a, a wonderful conviction that may be uncomfortable, but it, he will guide you in all truth. He will correct you. He will direct you. And if you are open to and humble enough to admit you're wrong and admit you're, what you're doing is wrong, the Holy Spirit begins to minister at that point. In fact, the very fact you're open to see sin for what it is, is the work of the Holy Spirit. But when we open ourselves to the work of the Holy Spirit, he begins to do a wonderful work. He begins to do a transforming work. And our, our, that new nature within us begins to grow. We become more sensitive to God, more sensitive to sin, more sensitive to righteousness. And that work just begins to grow. So Jesus said, blessed are they who mourn. Those who are sorrowful over sin, they who mourn, for they shall be comforted. The Holy Ghost begins to do a wonderful work in that area of their lives. Thank you for listening. This is Steve Johnson from Uhuru Park in Mombasa, Kenya. Tune in next time. I'll have another message for you. Bless you.